that was a long night, but I did manage to fall asleep after the 3 a.m. call to prayer. And I think I'm finally ready to go out and do a little exploring. Okay, so we're off. So one of the things people say to do for altitude sickness is to go below 3,000 meters, which is impossible in Ladakh. I'm already out of breath. I'm just a few hundred meters down the road. We're eating Middle Eastern food at Pizza Hut. Looking up at the palace. Ain't bad. Even though I'm still finding food a little bit repulsive. That evening we took a walk through the ancient stone labyrinth of Old Town to the palace. The Lay Palace was built in the 17th century, but it has been unoccupied since 1846 when the Ladakhi royals were stripped of power. We had been hoping to catch the sunset from the roof, but it was already closed by the time we got there, so we just climbed around a little. For the record, when we did make it in, most of the rooms were blocked off, so there wasn't actually much to explore. Not that it matters, because they announced it was closing time shortly after we paid our 300 rupees each. The Nongyel Simo Monastery and fort above it is, however, worth a visit. So let's skip a few weeks ahead to when I had the energy to climb up there, shall we? After we removed our shows, we found ourselves in one temple face to face with, well, nothing. All of the statue's faces were covered up. We don't know why. The other temple housed a three-story high golden statue of Maitreya Buddha. At this point in the trip, we were sort of monasteried out, so the real treat was to climb to the top of the Simo Fort on old stone staircases and rickety wooden ladders. Okay, back to those first days, when I was still sick and miserable. Hello, and today we are starting the day off going to the Tixi Monastery. Why you ask did I start off yesterday with a call to prayer and today with a Buddhist monastery? Well, it's because Ladakh is part of Jammu and Kashmir, which is mostly a Muslim state. But here in Ladakh, there's about 45% Muslim and most of the rest are Buddhist, so it's roughly 50-50, but you definitely see a lot more Buddhist structures around than, than Muslim. Tixi was built in the mid-15th century and is one of the largest and most important monasteries in Ladakh today. We arrived early to watch the monks chant. I paid a little extra money to be allowed to film, but I didn't feel right filming and only captured a few seconds. <laughs> According to Buddhist tradition, Maitreya Buddha is the future universal Buddha who will one day appear as a great spiritual leader and spread a message of compassion, love and peace throughout the world. Now we're at the Shea Palace and I'm feeling pretty burned out. A whole day of exploring is a lot for someone who gets sick every time they eat. Shea is the former capital of Upper Ladakh and the monastery and palace date back to 1655. The palace was abandoned in 1842 and most of it has fallen into ruins. The monastery and preserved portion of the palace has plenty to explore, but we were instantly drawn to the ruined fort at the top of the hill.
One evening, a group of Indian musicians showed up at our guest house, much to Clay's delight as he just bought a guitar and was happy to have someone to play with. The next evening, we were able to see our friends perform at the Ladakhi Youth Arts and Music Festival. Along with some uh, traditional Ladakhi hip hop. Okay, so guess what? It's sticker time! Before I left for India like three months ago, I got some stickers from Rodney Harris in the mail. I didn't have time to do a video then, so I'm doing it now. This is going on the wall. So Rodney has a fishing channel in Australia where there's lots of weird and wonderful fish because it's Australia where they have weird and wonderful creatures everywhere. If you want to check out his channel, click right here. If you want to subscribe to my channel, click here and um if you want to see some other videos of mine click over here okay so long and see you next week ish <laughs>